guys back again uh, so uh, the days for 31 days of tarot I am on I'm gonna be doing 10 and 11 so I can get today and tomorrow out of the way which will bring us to these Wednesday so will bring us to Friday I don't know if I'll be doing Fridays on Friday I have company coming over but I may try to get it in before then we'll see otherwise I will do it Saturday before our live video so uh, 10 day 10 is tarot decks that you want to work with in 2018 and day 11 is Oracle decks that you want to work with in 2018 so I kind of was looking through my decks and I have a couple uh, old decks that I've had that I haven't really used but I really liked I just hadn't taken the time to get to know them better and a couple of newer decks that I really liked that I want to um, definitely spend some time with this year. So we'll start with the tarot decks. Um, some of the older decks, not older, a couple of these are not older. I'm going to start with uh, the Bonefire Tarot. That's the back of the cards. Um, this deck, I really like this deck. It's in like the tattoo style. And I just have not taken the time to work with it. I tried to read with it without working with it a whole lot a couple times um, and I just need more time. I need more time to really get to know it and to um, spend some time with it and to feel good about what it says and I just haven't taken the time to do that yet but I want to because I really like the style and the tattoo style is really cool to me, and the images are great. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing some of that this year, definitely. Because I definitely like this deck. Uh, another one that is on the older, well, this one is pretty old. Uh, this is, I, I love DJ Conway as an, uh, an author. I have several of her books, and I really like her. Um, she is not... I don't know how to say this. She is somewhat controversial, I guess, as far as uh, her accuracy. I've heard that some of her books are not as accurate as maybe um, she could be. But I really like the information that she gives, and I like the style that she writes in. So a long time ago, I got the Shapeshifter Tarot before I uh, even really started reading tarot. Um, and... I really like this deck, but I kind of have had put it away and not really thought about it very much. Lisa Hunt, I believe, um, yes, did the images for this deck also, and I really love her tarot. Um, and it's, it's still in order. That's how you know I that you know I haven't spent a whole lot of time with it. But um, I love the images in this deck; are just beautiful. And I just have not spent the time with it. And I kind of forget about it. I forget that it's sitting on the shelf because it's in a bag. And I never got the box. It was a trade. I got it in a trade. And I never got the box for the deck. So I kind of forget about it. It's in this plain black bag. And I never really, you know, remember what's in there. So um, I have pulled it out. And I want to really start to work with it. I'm going to charge it up and smudge it again and to kind of clear out some of the just stagnant energy that probably is sitting here with it um, because the images are gorgeous. And since I like Lisa Hunt and her images, I figured I will really work some with this deck because look at just gorgeous, gorgeous images. Um, and something I'm looking forward to working with. Are we, where are we? 15. So I'll just go through the, um, majors here. Really beautiful images. Love that moon. Who doesn't love Lisa Hunt? She has gorgeous illustrations. Where are we at? Oh, almost. Wait, I forget that in this deck there's a couple extra 
um, majors. So, that is one that I am um, happy to be working with this year. Um, another one that I've had for a while that um, I did start working with it some uh, this summer because it's very light images and I like for spring and summer work. This deck works really well. This is the Animal Wisdom Tarot. And just the color scheme and the animals and stuff are really great. So I really like working with this deck. Look at the back. I love the back of that. It's beautiful. Sorry, I'm shaking now. Um, my darn shakes are kicking in, so I'll bring it back here some. Um, and I always have gotten really good messages. I just haven't really delved into this deck as much as I want to. Um, so I plan on working probably not until springtime because it's a little bright and airy for me anyways for the darker time of the year. But I will be pulling it out this spring for sure because it is a great colorful deck for spring and summer. And the animals on it are beautiful. Favorite. I love that card. So that is another one that I will be pulling out this year more. Um, so the Star Tarot. I know I did a, an unboxing on it. And I absolutely adore this deck. And I just have not taken the time to pull it out and work with it. Uh, the borders on this deck really drive me crazy, so I may be trimming this deck. This may be one. I think I'm going to end up trimming Druidcraft because um, I don't work with it as it is enough. Um, and I love, love, love Druidcraft also. Um, but because the borders on it, look at that. It's one of my favorite cards. I love it. Um, because of the borders on it, I don't pull it out a lot because the cards are so darn big with the um, borders. And I, I guess that's part of it. It's not even the, the borders. The borders are huge, and, you know, I wish we could see more of the picture. But the cards are huge with these borders on, and it makes it harder to shuffle, and it, it makes it, for me, it's less user-friendly when they are so big. It makes it easier to use when you can shuffle and handle them a little bit easier. So, um, I, maybe I will trim those borders up and uh, be able to use it more. Because I like the deck and the images are great on it. Uh, three more, quick. I did, um, got, I got the Golden Tarot. for Yule this year and this deck I really am enjoying the images are very um, kind of medieval very Rider weight though and I'm really loving let me see if I can find some of my favorite cards on here um, just because they are so renaissance kind of era images and I really am liking um, a lot of these cards there's the six of cups the childhood you know innocence card there's our ace of wands you know fire of creativity really uh, enjoy these cards a lot so, um, the moon card in this deck I love, which of course I'm not going to be able to find while we're sitting here. Um, but it, it's a great deck. It's very Rider weight, so it's very, seems very easy to pick right up. There's the Three of Swords. Ooh, I found my moon card too. Right, three of swords, and then here's the moon card. I just love this card. It's 
something about the stag and the, it's just to me it it all works the face in the moon I love 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 that's one of my favorite moon cards so I will be getting this deck out more two more uh, after the long wait we all had for the uh, Santa Muerta deck I adore these cards and so I will definitely be pulling this deck out more and using this deck more because they are they're very tongue-in-cheek and um, the characters in it are hilarious to me I I love look at that hero fan card right okay. yep love the tongue-in-cheekness of this deck for sure the world so I will be pulling that deck out and um, my most recent deck, uh, the Darkness of Light Tarot. That's the last one that I just really got. I've only had it for about a week and um, I really am enjoying these cards and started doing some readings with them today uh, at work and... I really like the images and they're, they're not too light and fluffy and they're not too dark and I really love them a lot so this is definitely a deck I'll be using more also this year so those are the tarot decks for the year I'm gonna press pause and switch things around so I can show you the Oracle decks I want to work with this year okay so um, I guess I didn't realize I have a lot more Oracle decks out to work with this year. But that's okay, because for me anyways, um, Oracle is so much easier for me. And I pull them with the tarot decks that um, I can switch out Oracle decks like daily. Um, depending on, you know, what tarot deck I'm using, I just grab one that I know goes along with that very well. Um, so I have quite a few here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Oracle decks. So I'll do these a lot quicker because it's already 12 minutes. Um, so the first one is I really like the Sacred Travelers cards. Again, the borders are kind of big, but when you're using them with tarot, yeah, it's okay. They really just, um, for me, I love pulling an Oracle card with every tarot card that I pull. I pull an oracle. It gives me a direction usually for the tarot card. Um, kind of clarifies how that card is going to come about. So I really like being able to do that. Okay. And um, this is a great deck, Denise Lynn. I you know, have a couple. I have her gateway oracle, that, and I love that too. So that's really good. Uh, Sacred Vision. I know a lot of people have done videos on them, so I'm not even going to open this one. But they are absolutely stunning. And I have found that I like to pull just one card a day from here, and it kind of gives me an overall feeling for the day and a direction to look at. Uh, I have two Josephine Wall decks, Whispers of Love and Nature's Whisper. I've had Nature's, yes, Nature's Whisper for quite a while. Um, and Whispers of Love, I haven't really worked with a lot yet. Is this upside down? Yep. Um, but the images in, in all her stuff is stunning. So uh, I always, especially spring and summer again, when that kind of, you know, time comes around, I definitely pull her decks out. They, and they go great with the, the lighter, airy, you know, my animal wisdom cards and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, an oracle deck that I have out a lot in the wintertime is, this is um, Art Through the Eyes of the Soul Oracle by Cheryl Yambrock Rose. Uh, this deck is uh, just very giving. The back of the cards are gorgeous. Very, um, you know, inward looking deck. 
Um, the messages in them are very good. This is, and I do pull this with tarot, but this is another one kind of like the Sacred Vision where uh, a lot of times I will just pull one to have out on my computer all day and it gives me a good focus for the day. A reminder of, you know, things to come, what to focus on, to be good to yourself, that kind of thing. And the images are great. And the, the guidebook is wonderful, too. So I really enjoy this deck a lot. And I've had that for a while, and I don't think I've touched it like most of the year. So it's time to bring it back out again. I miss it. Uh, Angelarium, the Oracle of Emanations. This was one of, I, I could not wait for this deck to come out, and I really loved it. When it came out, I was like, oh, this is beautiful, and I don't think I've touched it since then. It's just one of those decks that I have not had the time to pull out, but I love these images. And I don't know, you know, all the Kabbalah stuff that uh, the author worked with or anything, but to me, they're very haunting. It reminds me of the Guardians um the Tree Guardians tarot deck that just came out. Um, same kind of, to me, the, the creatures or the angels or whatever you want to call them on here are very haunting to me. Absolutely beautiful. And they um, say a lot to me. So I really love this deck, too. And plan on pulling it out more. Uh, next is uh, the Wisdom of the House of Night. Uh, this is a Colette Baron Reed deck. Uh, I love, I have followed the artist of a lot of Colette's decks is uh, Jenna DeGrotaglia. Is that how you say it? And I have followed her for years. Yes, Jenna DeGro... I assume that's how you say it. DeGrotaglia. Um, I follow her on Instagram and I have followed... I followed her on Facebook too. Um, but I have loved her artwork for years now. As a matter of fact, I keep meaning to... Like someday I want to get an original of hers because I just adore her fantasy art is stunning. Um, and this deck is, this oracle deck is beautiful. And a lot of these images I actually followed when she was painting those images. Oh, that one, gorgeous. I believe this is the deck with the animals in it too. There's like, like a giraffe and an elephant and a couple other really cool animal cards in here that had just were, when she was painting them, they were coming out absolutely gorgeously stunning. Um, and I just love her fantasy art. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, let's see if I can find. Look at, oh, I love this one. She did, um, these were from Elements. So we saw, I think we saw the water, or this is the, obviously this is the water element and I believe the other one that was earlier was fire. Um, I'm trying to find those animal ones because they are, they were like my favorite. Air track, deceit. Here is earth. Just incredibly gorgeous. Oh, this was fire, so the first one was air. So maybe it is not in this deck. Or if it is, I'm missing it. But um, I, I love her work, so I do pull out clips cards a lot because of Jenna. Because I love Jenna. Her art is beautiful. Um... The trees, the wisdom of trees oracle. Really like this deck. I will be pulling that out. And the last one is the magical dimensions oracle. Um, I know I did a an opening box opening 
of this deck. And again, wow, really powerful images on here. I really enjoyed these images and I just haven't taken the time to get to know it better. So I will be doing that. So yay. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the 31 Days of Tarot. I'm enjoying watching um, what I can get to. Uh, there's so many participating, which is really stunning. Isn't that great that there are so many participating that there's no way that any of us will be able to watch all of them. But how exciting that our community is growing at leaps and bounds enough that there's no way all of us can get through all of um, our community's videos for these, which I think is just great. Boy, doesn't that tell you there is a revolution coming in this world that all of us are coming to consciousness. I love it. I love you. I hope you're having a great week, and I will see you all probably maybe Friday, definitely Saturday. Blessings.